I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Question 33.1 Questioner, in our last session you said that each of us in these sessions should look well to the vital energies necessary for non-depletion of the instrument and the contact level. Did that mean that we should look at the instrument's vital energies or be careful of our own vital energies? Answer, I am Ra. Each entity is responsible for itself. The mechanics of this process taking place involve firstly, the use of the physical bodily complex of third density with its accompanying physical material in order to voice these words. Thus this instrument needs to watch its vital energies carefully, for we do not wish to deplete this instrument. Secondly, the function of the supporting group may be seen to be firstly, that of protection for this contact, secondly, that of energizing the instrument and intensifying its vital energies. This supporting group has always, due to an underlying harmony being of a very stable nature as regards protection in love and light, thus ensuring the continuation of this narrow band contact. However, the vital energies of either of the supporting members being depleted, the instrument must then use a larger portion of its vital energies, thus depleting itself more than would be profitable on a long-term basis. Please understand that we ask your apology for this infringement upon your free will. However, it is our distortion understanding that you would prefer this information rather than, being left totally to your own dedication distortion, deplete the instrument or deplete the group to the point where the contact cannot be sustained. Question 33.2 Questioner, can you give us advice on how to maintain the best possible condition for maintaining contact? Answer, I am Ra. We have given information concerning the proper nurturing of this channel. We, therefore, repeat ourselves only in two ways in general. Firstly, we suggest that rather than being, shall we say, brave and ignoring a physical complex weakness distortion it is good to share this distortion with the group and thus perhaps, shall we say, remove one opportunity for contact which is very wearying for the instrument, in order that another opportunity might come about in which the instrument is properly supported. Secondly, the work begun in harmony may continue in harmony, thanksgiving and praise of opportunities and of the Creator. These are your protections. These are our suggestions. We cannot be specific for your free will is of the essence in this contact. As we said, we only speak to this subject because of our grasp of your orientation towards long-term maintenance of this contact. This is acceptable to us. Question 33.3 Questioner Thank you very much. We have a device for so-called color therapy, and since we were on the concept of the different colors in the last session I was wondering if this would in some way apply to the principle of color therapy in the shining of particular colors on the physical body. Does this create a beneficial effect and can you tell me something about it? Answer, I am Ra. This therapy, as you call it, is a somewhat clumsy and variably useful tool for instigating in an entity's mind, body, spirit complex an intensification of energies or vibrations which may be evade to the entity. The variableness of this device is due firstly to the lack of true colors used, secondly, to the extreme variation in sensitivity to vibration among your peoples. Question 33.4 Questioner I would think that you could achieve a true color by passing light through a crystal of the particular color. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This would be one way of approaching accuracy in color. It is a matter of what you would call quality control that the celluloid used it is of a varying color. This is not of a great or even visible variation, however, it does make some difference given specific applications. Question 33.5 Questioner, possibly you could use a prism breaking white light into its spectrum and screening off all parts of the spectrum except that which you wish to use by passing it through a slit. Would this be true? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 33.6 Questioner, I was wondering if there is a programming of experiences that causes an individual to get certain catalysts in his daily life. For instance, as we go through our daily life there are many things which we can experience. We can look at these experiences as occurring by pure chance or by a conscious design of our own such as making appointments or going places. 
I was wondering if there was a behind the scenes, as you might call it, programming of Catalyst to create the necessary experiences for more rapid growth in the case of some entities. Does this happen? Answer, I am Ra. We believe we grasp the heart of your query. Please request further information if we are not correct. The incarnating entity which has become conscious of the incarnative process and thus programs its own experience may choose the amount of catalyst or, to phrase this differently, the number of lessons which it will undertake to experience and to learn from in one incarnation. This does not mean that all is predestined, but rather that there are invisible guidelines shaping events which will function according to this programming. Thus if one opportunity is missed another will appear until the, shall we say, student of the life experience grasps that a lesson is being offered and undertakes to learn it. Question 33.7 Questioner, then these lessons would be reprogrammed, you might say, as the life experience continues. Let's say that an entity develops the bias that he actually didn't choose to develop prior to incarnation. It is then possible to program experiences so that he will have an opportunity to alleviate this bias through balancing. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is precisely correct. Question 33.8 Questioner, thank you. From this I would extrapolate to the conjecture that the orientation and mind of the entity is the only thing that is of any consequence at all. The physical catalyst that he experiences, regardless of what is happening about him, will be a function strictly of his orientation in mind. I will use as an example, example deleted, this being a statement of the orientation in mind governing the catalyst. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. We prefer not to use any well-known examples, sayings, or adages in our communications to you due to the tremendous amount of distortion which any well-known saying has undergone. Therefore, we may answer the first part of your query asking that you delete the example. It is completely true to the best of our knowledge that the orientation or polarization of the mind, body, spirit complex is the cause of the perceptions generated by each entity. Thus a scene may be observed in your grocery store. The entity ahead of self may be without sufficient funds. One entity may then take this opportunity to steal. Another may take this opportunity to feel itself a failure. Another may unconcernedly remove the least necessary items, pay for what it can, and go about its business. The one behind the self, observing, may feel compassion, may feel an insult because of standing next to a poverty-stricken person, may feel generosity, may feel indifference. Do you now see the analogies in a more appropriate manner? Question 33.9 Questioner, I think that I do. Then from this I will extrapolate the concept which is somewhat more difficult because as you have explained before, even fourth density positive has the concept of defensive action, but above the level of fourth density the concept of defensive action is not in use. The concept of defensive action and offensive action are very much in use in our present density. I am assuming that if an entity is polarized strongly enough in his thought in a positive sense that defensive action is not going to be necessary for him because the opportunity to apply defensive action will never originate for him. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is unknowable. In each case, as we have said, an entity able to program experiences may choose the number and the intensity of lessons to be learned. It is possible that an extremely positively oriented entity might program for itself situations testing the ability of self to refrain from defensive action even to the point of the physical death of self or other self. This is an intensive lesson and it is not known, shall we say, what entities have programmed. We may, if we desire, read this programming. However, this is an infringement and we choose not to do so.